so we're just exploring Port St. John. There's a lot of uh, cool castle around here and a lot of gardens that we're going to go explore. Uh, so hopefully you'll stick along and join us. Fort St. John is one of two forts that were built in 1660 along with Fort St. Nicholas across the entrance to View Port, which is the old harbor of Marseille. Um, Marseille had a reputation for rebelling against the central French government, so Louis XIV had to come into Marseille with an army to put down a local uprising. And he's the one who ordered the construction of the forts, but instead of protecting the town from outside invaders. It was built more to keep the local population in check. The guns were built so that they were pointing in towards the town instead of out towards the sea, which is interesting. Today, Fort St. John has a rather less controversial function in the city as it's partnered with Le Museum, which is a nearby museum, as a historic attraction for tourists to check out. All right, so La Museum, which stands for the Museum of European and Mediterranean Civilizations, was opened in 2013, the same year that Marseille was designated Europe's cultural capital. The most distinctive part of the museum is the concrete lattice work that surrounds the building. Um, there's a couple of walkways that you can take from the top to the bottom that allow you to walk between the concrete lattice work and the museum. And when you're walking through it, it kind of feels like you're walking underneath seaweed. of the Roman dogs contains the remnants of a Roman commercial warehouse. Inside this warehouse you'll find the remains of 30 large jars, ceramic jars, that were used to hold olive oil or wine. These jars could hold about 1,800 to 2,000 liters of liquid. The remains of this warehouse were found in 1947 after World War II when the city was rebuilding. The area and Le Panier around it have been dynamited by the Nazis and so as they were digging around and trying to fix things, they found some of these stars. And what's cool is that an archaeologist and historian worked to make sure that these stars would remain where they were found. The rest of the museum is pretty cool because as you walk around, you can see the remains and exhibits on shipwrecks off the Marseille coast. Mm -hmm. 